Okay, in this video, we're going to explain how to do a reacting mass calculation. So you see we've got the question and the example. What we need to try and do here is um, identify two chemicals in this equation based on the question. So the question says, calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide. So we're being asked to find the mass of the sodium hydroxide that is needed to neutralize 7.3 grams of sulfuric acid. So we're being told that we've got 7.3 grams of this. So the two chemicals we're interested in are these two. Therefore, we can ignore these other ones once we get into the question. Okay. The format is the same for all these. So our first job is we're given a mass for sulfuric acid. And what we need to do is convert that into moles. So we use our triangle over here. And what we're trying to do here is find the moles of the H2SO4, the sulfuric acid. And if we use this triangle, the moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass, okay, the MR. Then we can transfer the mass from the question is 7.3. And I've got to do a little bit of work here. So I'm going to change color for a second. What we've got to do here now is work out the mass of the sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is H2SO4. This means it contains two lots of hydrogen, one lot of sulfur, and four lots of oxygen, okay? Let's work out the mass of this now. So hydrogen's mass is one, so that's gonna be one. Uh, two times one is two. Uh, sulfur's mass is 32, so that's gonna be one times that is 32. And oxygen's mass is 16, and we've got four times 16, which is 64. Add all that up together, and that's gonna give us a total mass of 98, okay? So I can transfer that number now, 98, into here so now i know it's 7.3 divided by 98 and when you work that out it gives you 0.07 moles okay so we now converted the mass of the sulfuric acid into moles my and that's stage one stage two stage two we use the stoichiometry stoichiometry remember is the ratio of the atoms from the balanced equation so from here we have got one mole of H2SO4 is reacting with two moles of the NaOH, okay? We've just worked out that we've got 0 0.07 moles of the H2SO4, so it's 0 0.07 moles here. And what we now need to do is just check our ratio. So we've going from here to here. To do that, we times by two. Therefore, I'm gonna do the same here and times by two, and that's gonna give me a total of 0.14 moles when we double that up. So now we know there's 0.14 moles of sodium hydroxide that have reacted in this equation. The question asks us to work out a mass of that, so step three, okay, step three down here now, we need to know the mass of the NaOH. And if we go back up to our triangle, cover mass over mass, is the moles times by the relative formula mass. So the moles in here we've just worked out is 0.14. The relative formula mass, again, we need to do a little bit of working out, so I'm gonna do that down here. So we're dealing with sodium hydroxide. This means there is, um, sorry, one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. Putting some masses into that is 23 uh, times one is 23. This is the mass of oxygen is 16. So that's 16 times one. And the mass of hydrogen is one times one is one. Add those up, that gives me a total mass of 40. So I'm gonna transfer that 40 now into my equation. So I've now got 0.14 times by 40, and that's giving me an answer of 5.6, and the units are grams. Have a look at it again, use it, test it, practice it, get good at it, repetition is the key.